Well, go on, well, go on, people dims. Uh, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Room 2703. Uh, my name is Luke. Um, and this is a space for me to react, uh, react, review um, things that I love, things that I enjoy, things that I've yet to see, um, be that music, anime, movies, TV series, just a little safe space for me to kind of chat the most <laughs> and hopefully interact with people that are enjoying that, those kind of things too. Um, so yeah, if this is your first time here, I hope that you enjoy and stay a long time. <laughs> so um, I recently reacted to uh, Stan Walker, who originally, uh, I guess, became famous, well, became known uh, through Australian Idol. And I'm, when I say that I've enjoyed digging back into those performances because I hadn't seen them, just amazing. And it's, it's just so awesome to watch those kind of things and remember um, some of the kind of performances I'd seen growing up. And one of, I guess, my idols, one of my American idols, I was like, oh, you are phenomenal. Again, always got to give a shout out to Kelly Clarkson because, like, I remember, I'll never forget her singing Natural Woman and being like, you can hang um so when when the third american idol came about um because i think the second one was ruben studdard and clay aiken i think they were the top two i think so the third one um obviously um fantasia barino uh won and i remember it was my mom at the time was like there's a there's a girl with short hair yeah, that's got this really distinct voice, very different. And this was through the audition stages. But I hadn't, I hadn't seen her. Um, it's on, so I think I came in and I saw her when she did... Um, um, it might have been actually something to talk about. So I didn't. I missed the audition, but I think something to talk about was the one I saw. Anyway, we're going to watch the audition and then we're going to watch a few of them. And we're going to go all the way through to when she won. Because I just... I want to go down memory lane. So, yes, let's uh, do that. And hopefully you won't mind and you'll join me along the way. So this is um, Fantasia in her original audition. Even 19-year-old Fantasia Marino can she predict how the judges will react. Uh, I predict that Randy's going to like what he hears. Uh, Paula, I think she's she's gonna like, but I think I'm gonna have a little trouble out of Simon, but I'm ready for Simon. <laughs> I'm ready for Simon. Fantasia. Yes. She was how 19. I love your name. Thank you. Uh, how old are you? 19. 19? Mm-hmm. Are you excited to be here? I'm very excited. Yeah? I'm very, very excited. Why are you excited? Because <laughs> I've been singing for a long time now, and, um... Like I said, I'm not going to stop if this doesn't work, but I'm determined, so this is going to work. And the right sound. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready? Yes. What do you say? Killing Me Softly by Lauryn Hill. Excellent. Mm. I heard he sang a good song. I heard he had a style. Wow. And so I came to see him and listen for a while. Mm. And there he was, this young boy, stranger to my eyes, summoning my pain with his finger, singing my life. Words. Killing me softly with this song, killing me softly with this song, telling my whole life with his words, killing me softly with his song. Thank you wow. for the Wow. That's strong thing. <laughs> Gotta watch your pitch, though. Gotta yeah. watch your pitch a little bit. But you are definitely a strong, wonderful singer. Thank you. You're welcome. Son. Well, she's got a great voice. It's just, I'm I always trying to imagine people at this stage where you go throughout mm. the competition mm. because you have such a distinct voice. Um, and what at one moment is deemed an advantage will then possibly become a disadvantage because you are what you are. 
Does All Simon, right. do you guys want to hear another song, or what do you think? Yeah, I would be interested, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What, di what different colors should you like? Um, I could do Tina Turner rolling. Okay. Okay. Well, I left a good job in the city. There you go. Working for the man every night and day. Excellent. But I never lost one minute of sleep. Well, about the way things might have been. Okay. Big wheel keep on turning. Keep on burning and we're rolling. I'm, Thank you. Now that's that's what I was fine. talking about. Yeah, I'm that's still what there. I was talking about. Yeah, she's great. Yes or no? I definitely say this competition would be far less interesting without her. She's I brilliant. totally agree. Excellent. I, I actually think you're one of the best we've ever had. Woo! That's what I think. Guess, wow. what, guess what that means? Yes, right. One Hollywood. You're going to Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> The day ends on a high note for Fantasia. <laughs> you know, again, it's just so interesting watching these things back, um, knowing just how incredibly successful that she is. Um, and, well, I say how incredible, I don't know financially how incredible, I don't know how bad on that, but in terms of what her... What she's done, I mean, I, I was talking about this as one of um, my patrons, Brenda, and we, we were saying how, um, she was saying the truth is, and when I see you, like a two tunes for her that are just, I've got so many Fantasia songs that I absolutely love, like so many, but when I see you, yeah, that is like, I put your picture on my mirror. <laughs> like, she has done that, she has been that person, and for 20 years, yeah, she's been putting stuff out. I know she's had some troubles um, and stuff, but it's just really interesting going back to that particular moment when she was 19 years of age. And to hear Simon be like, you know, you are what you are. Is that going to be an advantage or a disadvantage? Like, at the end of the day, like, I will take someone who is what, what they is um, over someone that is trying to be something else any day of the week because at least you know when you press play or when you pick up the radio or you play that seat or whatever, that person is going to be that person. And that's the one thing with Fantasia, you know you're getting that tone, that, that distinct tone that she's got. You're getting that whatever she's singing. Whatever that was my stomach. I'm not hungry. I don't know why. Um, you're getting it regardless. So that was really good. That was really, really good. I, and I actually, I didn't realise that she sang Killing Me Softly. Um, so already, I'm learning. So this is this is what we go back, people. This is what we go back. Um, okay, so the next one that's in this list is that she sang something to talk about. And that's the song that I remember that's always in my head. People are talking, talking about people. I you know this way. Um... Something to talk about. Let's give them something to talk about. Let's give them something to talk about. Let's give them something to talk about. Okay. Let's do this. This is let's give them well something to talk about by by Buddy Wright. Buddy Wright. Fantasia, you comfortable? Yeah, I haven't went yet. So. I know. Are you ready to have some fun? Oh my God. Yeah, I'm, you know, Simon, if he say something mean to me. He better, he better look out. That's right. Oh, All right, right, look out, Simon. Coming up next, Fantasia performs. Oh, we'll be right God. back on American Idol. Stay with us. Twenty years ago. American Idol, one more to go. Fantasia said, Simon, you better look out, because here I come. Big colors. Ready to do it? That's right. Fantasia Barino, take it away. Yeah. I'm Fantasia, I'm 19 years old, and I'm from High Point, North Carolina. The judges made comments about me being a lot like Macy Gray. I don't think so. I wanted to make sure that they remembered me, Fantasia. My lips are big, but my talent is bigger. <laughs> I'm ready for this. Um, I like attention. Woo, I like that! 
<laughs> this is the bomb, and I love it. So, America, if you're ready for me, I'm ready for you. Vote for me, baby. Before the judges say anything, yeah, like, I cannot explain to you how many memories are coming back from just watching that performance. Like, this lives in my head rent-free. Rent-free. Like, it's such... I mean, I didn't even... I didn't know who Bonnie Ray was when I was watching this back 20 years ago. So, for me, the song is something unfamiliar. So, it sounds kind of like... Um, country esque type of it doesn't it, I, I, it just doesn't, doesn't sound like any kind of song I would have heard before, and, and then it's got this funk coming from it. Do you know what I mean? The bounces she's got with it, and then you've got her like really like let's give them something that's like like that Fantasia tone. Like it's just so sick. And the one thing that just this just comes screaming back to me um, is that he, that yeah 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 that 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 was almost like a like a fantasiaism for me, that yeah, 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 yeah thing that she did. Um, I just think she's so sick. I can't wait. I can't wait to hear what the, the judges said. I feel like Randy's going to be like, "It's about tone, people. It's about tone." <laughs> this is what this competition is all about: uniqueness. A unique vocal sound, attitude. Man, you look like an old pro up there. I was mm. like, whoa. Oh, mm. Thank you. Give yourself a round. That was good. Mm. Mm. This show, this season, must have Fantasia part of it. I, I think that you're going to be amazing. You are so comfortable, and you have this light about you that everyone wants to be around you. Thank you, Paula. You're welcome. Fantasia, let me put this into context. Um, every other person sitting in the room before you needed this competition to get a recording contract. The difference is you actually wouldn't even need this competition to become what awesome. I think you're destined to be, which is a star. You have what, exactly what this competition needs. You're yeah. original, you're quirky, you have a talent, you're different, you're just a star. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot the James Bond song was part of this. I'm gonna have to do all the James Bond songs, aren't I? I'm gonna have to. Fantasia, it's the victory dance. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Way to round it out today. What do you call the move that you just did as you walked back into the red room? Um, that was a bobo. Oh, that's that what I thought. I thought that was a bobo, bobo didn't you? I that was a bobo. Yeah, yeah that was the. That was a bobo. A bobo, bobo. <laughs> uh, we we couldn't probably pull it off though. <laughs> If you think Fantasia is the next American Idol, here are the numbers. It's 1-866-IDOL-08. It's 1-866-436-5708. Or AT&T Wireless subscribers, you can text the word VOTE to 5708. Okay, Lines so open at the end of the show, uh, which is just around the corner. But one more time, here's a look at all the numbers. Watch this. Yeah, I didn't realize that Jennifer Hudson actually was on the same show as her, which is mad. 
That's absolutely mad to think that they really did start this thing together. And look at them both 20 years later. Oh dear, that's beautiful. Um, okay, I'm actually going to do one more because it's actually really late now. So the next one um, Ooh, on here is signed, sealed. So the next one um, on here Army is yours. signed, sealed, one absolute June. June. Stevie Wonder. I'm yours. Um, I'm going to sing this to my friends. June. Stevie um, Wonder. Um, I'm going to sing this to my parents' anniversary. Um, um, my friends' and, yeah, parents' really cool. anniversary. Um, um, okay. And yeah, it's it was fine. Really cool. We enjoyed nice. that. Um, okay. There it is. It's fine. There it is. Nice. There it is. Oh my god, knock on wood. Oh, that as well. Uh, okay. All right, welcome back to America. To be live. We are live. Soul is the theme. How about a little Fantasia burrito? Mm. Roll it. You gonna play on the slides? Yeah, I'm from Hopkins. 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 I'm from High Point, North Carolina. This is a small little town. Only big thing we have going is the furniture industry. <laughs> and me now. <laughs> it's actually really good watching all this stuff. My but... family, we are very tight. If you've seen mom, you've seen dad, Tasia, brothers. If we were always together, so yeah, we tight. When I noticed that Fantasia could sing, I was just blown out of here. People would go, wow, that's a kid. Zion is my little girl. She's two years old. Say hello. Hello. Say, watch out there now. <laughs> She's so cute. Welcome to church. Mercy Outreach is my church. This is where I go whenever I want to get my singing on. <laughs> My mommy is a preacher, so whenever I need her, she's always there. You walk around with your nose turned up and you don't speak to nobody. I've tried to teach her, you know, the, the right values of life, how to appreciate things. My dad plays the bass. He's good at it. My grandmother, she's a pastor. She's like the mother of everybody in High Point. Thank you, God. My brother Rico, he directs the music at church. Plus, he directs the choir when I sing. I went to the New York audition. He told me, he was like, well, let's make a bet. If I make it, you sing background for me. And if you make it, I'll sing background for you. Oh, that was good. Fantasia ended up winning, so I'm going to sing background. <laughs> I'm going to make him dance like the man off Apollo, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got my paper, High Point. What you think about that? When people see me coming, they be like, oh, God, look at that crazy girl, Tasia. She's unlimited. Wow. I like to have fun. Can you find his word on shirt hand? You only have one life to live, so why not just wow? wow. Yeah, man. Wow. This is so surreal watching this back. Stay too long. Now I'm wondering if your love's still strong. Ooh, baby, here I am. Shine, shield, delivered. I am. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Here I am, baby. Uh huh. Shine, shield, delivered. I am. Yeah. Here I am, baby. Yeah. Shine, shield, delivered. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 
again, before the judges say anything, there is something... When you used to watch these shows back in the day, and I and I haven't watched one religiously in a long time, so I don't really watch The Voice anymore. Um, you get X Factor, I don't really think it was even on anymore. So a lot of these shows, I kind of stopped watching them because I kind of felt that the caliber just wasn't as as great. Like, um, and again, this is no shade to anybody, and I wouldn't like take anything away from anyone. Do you know I mean, like, do your thing, like, strive for your dreams, and if the opportunity is there and and it, and, it, and it's you know befalls you, take it with both hands. Do you know what I mean? Um, but the I think the latest voice that I saw, the winners of that, um, I just didn't necessarily. I don't know when I when I when I watch performers like this and I see the caliber that's coming out, I'm like, this is twenty years ago. This is twenty years ago, and this is the kind of caliber. There's no carry. And don't get me wrong. Like I'm not saying that everyone that makes certain choices, like with certain arrangement choices and melodic choices, that it always works. But the ones that do make those choices and the ones that do make it work are just stellar. And the, the point I'm making is when she stepped on that stage to sing this song, this big Stevie Wonder tune, she still managed to make it sound as though that it was like her version of the song that was sick. Like that rasp that she's got, that vocal fry, as you want to call it, her tone, the the, the spirit of it all. It's just she's always had this, and I think and I feel like this has always been, you know, even that little clip that we saw of her being like twelve years old or whatever with her with her church press silk press, whatever that was going on. There, she was still singing like amazing, amazing performance, amazing, amazing. It's about tone, people. Yo yo. Van Jager, you brought it down tonight, man. That was hot. You know, what, you know what I'm saying? I just gotta give you your props, man. You're one of the other most unbelievable singers in this competition, and I think there's three or four, but you're like a young Aretha, dog. I love you, man. You're like a young Aretha. You are a true seasoned performer. You own the stage, you brought it, you delivered it, and we were like your church. Out right up there dancing with you. You're amazing. You are amazing. Fantasia, you are the real thing. Fantasia Barino. You are the real thing from Simon Cowell. Do you, do you prefer Fantasia or Fantasia? I, I like the way Simon says it. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. matter when he says that after it, right? It doesn't matter. If you'd like to vote for Fantasia Marino, let's run it down, folks. It's one eight six six idols 0 Anyway, that's just enough of that. Um, I'm going to really enjoy going down, um, like, memory lane with this. Like, very much so. Um, oh, I thought for a second one second I thought that oh, I just love Zendaya and Tom Holland so much <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever been this invested in a couple that I don't actually know <laughs> it's really crazy but I love them um, yeah just awesome performance Fantasia is just something else and I'm so glad that these videos are still online I'm really hoping that I can react to them and they're not going to get blocked and stuff because no YouTube like with copyright but um I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. Um, I would love to know. There was someone. Who was it? Um, it might have been. Um, there was someone who. react. Who, sorry. Who watches my Taylor Swift reactions. Um, and I think she saw. I say she. I don't know if it was she. They saw. Um, I reacted to Fantasia recently singing the national anthem. And singing it well. She sang it well, um, and she and she, it was her actually that she'd recommended. Well, I'd already planned to do this, but just reinforced. Cause she's like, oh, the scene that you like this, I think you really enjoy her performing summertime, um, and I responded to her like ma'am or third person <laughs> um i'm actually planning to do a whole kind of like throwback into fantasia's american idol performances um just to remind myself because it's been a very long time that i've seen them but summertime is one of the ones that always sticks out in my head her in that kind of pinkishy dress thing with her on the floor with the with the, with the legs cropped 
That was a defining moment in the competition. 100% defining moment. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to getting back to that performance. But it's just really good to kind of see some of the other ones before that point. Um, and this is another good one. So, yeah, I really enjoyed that. And it's also really good to see what the styles were doing. I mean, Ryan Seacrest's jump um, shirt. Could you find a bigger colour? <laughs> Could you find a bigger colour, sir? I'm going to see if I've got... Um, because 2004, 2005, I would have just been starting uni. So I'm going to see if there's anything I can dig out. Because as I'm sure it wasn't just him wearing those big colours at that time. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching that with me. I really, 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 really enjoyed that, as you can probably tell. Uh, if you enjoyed that with me, then please do drop me a like and subscribe. That would be very kind of you. Uh, and also, it helps like the channel with like algorithms and stuff. So that would be really great. Um, but if you want to go one step further because I'm now doing this full time yeah so my everything is my channel so any support that you would want to support would be great like so I've got a YouTube membership which I'm trying to grow <laughs> um, so that'd be really really cool um, I've also got my Patreon like so I've got a Patreon fam over there and um, it's a really cool little community too like so it'd be really great to have you but you get access to like all my reactions and stuff before they come to YouTube. Some of them will never come to YouTube because of things like copyright. Um, and it's a great way to kind of interact with me as well. And actually, if you don't want to do either of those things, uh, I've also got super thanks as well. So big, small, medium, whatever kind of support that you want to support with, I'd be really grateful. I really appreciate it. So yeah, I'll leave that with y'all. <laughs> but for now, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope to see you on the next one. <laughs>